hello. Uh, today is the beginning of my fifth week since um, my gastric bypass, my Ruin Y, RNY. So funny, I've seen it called a, mi a million things. I just thought it was gastric bypass, but um, apparently lots of different things. So I thought while I give you an update on my beginning of my fifth week, that I'd also show you something that's really helped me, and that is organizing all of my vitamins. So, it's so funny, like, back in the day, they used to say, oh, the bad thing about gastric bypass is that you have to take supplements and vitamins for the rest of your life. And the funny thing is, is I've all, I think we're now in this culture where we all take things, like whether it's biotin for your hair and nails, or beauty vitamins is what they, they call them if you know you're not doing any type of surgery. Um, you know, extra vitamin C, extra vitamin D. Everybody takes something, um, so I you know don't think it's that big of a deal. But there is some extra stuff that we have to take, and that's why I really love this thing. So it's a different color for every day, and then it comes out. So if you just want to throw out your purse in the morning or like what I would I do especially in the evening um, I'll just put it by me as I'm watching TV because some of the pills I have to take you know within a, I have to cut them up I got this little thing to cut up pills I actually took it from the hospital <laughs> and hopefully they didn't charge me like a hundred dollars for it um, and you know just take my pills while I'm you know watching TV or something so I'll go through some of the vitamins that I take. Most are recommended by my surgeon, but some I just take um, just because I was taking stuff in general anyway. So one thing that I learned with the surgery is that if you're a gummy vitamin person, they can't put iron in gummy vitamins. So kids vitamins and chewable vitamins have iron in them. So I start the morning with two Flintstones after I've eaten um, because it makes me nauseous if I don't have anything in my stomach um, when I take vitamins. So I'll do I'll, I'll do one as I'm going through. Um, but it's it's helpful to you know just take 10 minutes and do the whole the whole kit together, and then you just have it done for the week. So I take two um, flip stones at the beginning of the day. Um, I take a. Uh, chewable vitamin C. I got this from Grove Collaborative. I'll put a link down. Um, and I think they might have others. This is not the best tasting one, but what I do is I put it in my mouth, take a sip of water, and that helps, you know, break it down <laughs> to make it a little more tasty. Um, there are some tasty ones, though. Um, the Easy Melts B12. This is a really good one, um, and it melts really quickly. Uh, they recommend you have, I think, 2,500 um, milligrams of B12. So this helps with your metabolism, and that's really good. Um, Bear Melt Biotin. This is another good one that I take in the morning. And this is good for, like, hair loss, um, nails. I've always taken this, um, so I have, like, pretty good nails. And I'm, you know, try, like, since I have long hair, it's to my advantage to keep it strong. As you can see, I really need a haircut. I have to like stand on my tippy toes to see the end of it. Uh, what else do they say? Oh, and on the um, biotin, I think I take 5,000 milligrams, but there are some extra strength ones, like pills that you can swallow that are, uh, I think, 10,000. But the bare melt is only 5,000. What? Oh, and another thing, what I really like about these is their little tabs or pills, I should say, um, and they're not big. Let's see how small they are. Just but for comparison, I'll show you a Flintstone. There's a Flintstone. So they melt really quickly. Um, they're not hard to. Well, you don't need to swallow, but it's you know not hard to swallow if you were to swallow it. This one I just got that I'm gonna start adding tomorrow. It's a probiotic. Um, I figured, I haven't heard anything from my doctor on whether or not I needed it, but I figured if Baramelt, which makes stuff specifically specifically for those with bariatric surgery, um, maybe I should try it. Um, and also don't focus too much on the bariatric vitamins uh, or the companies because 
um, you know, definitely do price shopping and check on Amazon and, and see what's good. I actually saw the um, Bear Melts about the same on Amazon, so I just ordered them when I was ordering other things. And then I have, I won't show you, <laughs> this is like my worst pill um, that I have to take every morning. I have to take two of them, they're huge, I cut them in half. And my doctor said I have to have like five to ten minutes in between each pill. Um, this is the beginning of my fifth week, I can now take one pill cut in half at a time instead of like each half at a time. So that has been really helpful because it has been such a chore in the morning trying to take them. And I'm working from home right now. So I can't imagine if I were at the office and having to focus on that when I should be working. Um, then there's this, another one that I take for blood pressure, probably a lot of you. Um, have to take something for blood pressure too, at least at the very beginning because they want to make sure that everything is regulated and, and running well. Um, and then my doctor uh, prescribed, or my surgeon prescribed this one which helps with the lining of your stomach uh, just to make it stronger. So I take that um, in my, I put that in my little sun compartment after my vitamins. Because uh, the first thing I want to get in is my vitamins. The second thing I try to get in, I'm just cutting up the, the big ones now. Oh, and just to give you a size comparison, this is how big my biggest ones are that I have to cut in half. Um, so these I take after I've already eaten. I take everything after I've already eaten. But, you know, if you have the um, r and you can't, or maybe for all of them, you can't drink for like 30 minutes after you eat. So just keep that in mind too, that I don't start taking these until I can um, actually drink something. So some others that I haven't worked into my regime yet are um, a D3, which is really good for the winter time. Um, this is a gummy, and so I've taken it a couple times and I don't know if it's just been a day when I've been tired, but you know, keep in mind that all these gummies have some sugar in them. So you could have a reaction to them. I'm not totally convinced that my reaction was because of the sugar or just maybe something else I ate that day. Um, but I'm gonna start adding that one this week. And then also I'll be adding this week because it's now been almost a month since my surgery um, is calcium for bone support. And this is really important for women, especially old ladies like me. I'm in my 40s. I'm really 41, but I, I think it's it's funny to say that I'm in my 40s. Um, so this is a chewable. I'm gonna start adding this one back in. Um, and make sure you store your chewables separate from your bare melts or you know whatever they are, whatever other vitamins you have or pills that you have because you don't want the um, sugar and the moistness from the chewables or um, from the gummies to mess up um, the regular pills because it can do that. All right, so now <laughs> I am three, four, <laughs> three fourths full. So I'm gonna put my other big pills that I have to take in the evening, um, chop those up. Those I have to take right before I go to bed. Those are the worst, <laughs> just because of the size. And then finally, um, this is obviously not for everyone, but I take a little bit of Tylenol PM before going to bed. These I can also, I haven't tried to swallow them whole, but I still split them up and I can swallow two halves at a time. Um, for some reason, that just it just makes me feel better um, it, because of the restriction that I have to just be able to cut them in half, even if I can swallow two halves. So that's really it for my day. Just like one of these in this handy little tub. I like that it can come out. I'll put a link. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the comments or in the description for where to get this. Um, and then just some, the links to the, vi the various vitamins that I take. But it's really handy. Um, it's, it's obviously big, <laughs> you know, if you're going somewhere for a week to take this monstrous thing. But I mean, if you consider, let me see if I can pull all this stuff at once. 
you consider it could be that or this, I think it's probably a good deal. Um, I used to put everything just in a plastic bag, but because there's such a variety as far as like gummy or uh, chewable and then just pills, like all of those different things like being together just gets kind of gross. And I just like that I can just carry one little compartment from like place to place, like whether it's um, you know, in front of the TV or if I'm driving in the car or just throw it in my purse, something like that. I just find that that is a lot more uh, convenient for me. So anyway, that was all my vitamins that I take. And like I said, I'm beginning week five. Um, I think my last video, it's only been a couple days, um, but I had mentioned that my lowest um, total pounds lost was 25. I'm still, I gained one pound, so I'm now at 24. Um, I'm hoping that it'll start moving again because it really sucks to come, you know, have it come so quickly and then just stall. And it's pretty early, so I, I, I can't imagine that it's a real stall. Um, I'm probably getting between five and 600 calories a day. Um, doing okay on fluids, uh, probably between 45 and 50 ounces a day, so that needs to come up a little bit. I know that. Um, but other than that, you know, it's starting to, to go well. I'm starting to see the non-scale victories, you know, like this type of shirt was a little tight in the middle uh, when I purchased it and I put it on this morning and it feels fine. Um, I don't know if I would wear it with leggings outside the, the house like I am right now, um, but it's not snug and that's, you know, a nice, a nice victory. So I'm sort of in the stage where I'm probably not dropping in a size yet, but um, clothes that I would normally wear are a lot more comfortable and forgiving. And that's, you know, good enough for me a month out of surgery. So anyway, thanks for uh, joining me on my, my vitamin tutorial and I hope to see you on week six. Bye.